All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're playing Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, same little Entente playthrough as last episode. You'll notice up here that there's been a slight gap. Uh, last episode, we left off on September the 8th, 1942. Uh, we have since kind of fast-forwarded to uh, the 19th of May, 1943. And the reason for that is that the fight in Bessarabia just nothing happened. Like, as you can see here, the addition of American troops has pushed out along the Polish border, but down here, the borders really haven't changed. The Soviet Union firmly occupies all of Bessarabia, but they're having some pretty significant difficulty pushing further than that. Uh, we did attempt an amphibious invasion, invasion via Konigsberg with... Uh, basically all the divisions that you can see lined up through here. However, the Soviets have got, you know, close to 600 divisions, and they pushed us back, and luckily we have a military access pact with Poland, because we got pushed straight out of Konigsberg. We actually had to retreat across into Poland. Now, what that would have done in real life is because Poland is neutral in that war, all of these divisions would have been essentially taken prisoner by neutral Poland. That, or because my you know, fragmentary military, or because my military is uh, still like seven times larger than whatever Poland has available to them, we would have just invaded Poland and started some shit with the Allies, but you know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do down here. We're having a hard time. Uh, up here I am preparing an invasion on Leningrad. Uh, it's got two days left preparing for it. And uh, as you can see down here, I'm just trying my best. Come on, cut them off, come on, damn. Yeah, they got away. I was kind of hoping I could cut off those divisions, those 21 divisions right there. That would have been a pretty significant happening. Let's just straighten up our front here. Um... No, if I'm if I'm gonna be launching a naval invasion, I'm gonna need these divisions to be down here. Uh, where's my navy hanging out? Battle cruiser fleet. Let's see. All of these are reservist divisions, so we'll go battle cruisers, destroyers, and light cruisers. Split off. Relocate here and engage in patrol in the. Baltic Sea. Uh, what was I just seeing there? Air superiority we have everywhere that's important. Uh, I could probably reroute these units because it looks like I've captured most of the Soviet airfields that were in range. So what I'll go ahead and do is... I really don't want to put them down there because it's going to just w progressively worsen my supply situation. So we'll hold off. Now we're going to go ahead and launch that invasion, and I'm hoping, nay praying, that I can win the, win the war by getting some divisions up on the north. At the very least, I'll split off their forces down here, and it looks like I've already succeeded in that, so I'm going to go ahead and do a general push. Uh, come on. I just need to get out of Bessarabia, that's all I need. I just don't want to be in Bessarabia anymore, you know? God, the supply situation there sucks. sure my front lines are come on there we go 
Make sure your front lines always cover all of your provinces. Uh, looks like we're going to win that. So we're going to... We're not going to send them all at once because it's kind of crazy to do so. We're going to send uh, probably about, oops, about 20 of them. And uh, unfortunately we can't pre-send them even though we know we're going to win that war or the, win that battle. But I'm just standing by and waiting. You know, it's 44 divisions. Eh, yep. Alright. Nope. No, no, no. Launch. Go. And the tanks. Send the tanks. Alright, we have to be fast about this. If you're not fast about this, it gets messy. Alright. Now, the areas I want to secure, the, like the bare minimum for success here, is that I secure this zone. So I'm going to go ahead and have my marines branch out, and we're going to try and capture as much of this key territory as we can. Uh, should very much like it if that battle wasn't so close. Go ahead and send the rest, now that we're sure we have the foothold we need. Uh, down here, we're going to go for a more cautious attack. Looks like we're gradually expanding out. Uh, the Soviet casualties are outstripping ours by a significant factor. A factor of about double once you factor in the uh, United States' casualties. Uh, come on, where is... There we go. Alright, wherever the fuck you are, take your ass and get in the Gulf of Finland. I mean, most of these divisions are uh, allied forces, so I don't really care if they die, but I mean, it would be nice if they didn't, you know? Like, that sounds kind of, sounds kind of evil, but uh, I'm sure you can agree that it's a necessary one. Alright, now my next target is going to be this little isthmus here. because uh, I'm just trying to secure the northern area as fast as I can. How's my political power doing? I can afford to influence Finland. All right. We are in business now. Just drop all of those battle lines and drop a new set like so rapidly assign all divisions to it and we're not going to initiate an offensive yet because the goal up here is to just secure this area we want to shield Finland and eventually add them to the faction yeah that's fine everything is fine fuck's sake. And we just want to keep up pressure on them at this point. Like, oh shit. Holy, holy shit. That is, that is a ton of Soviet divisions. I have a plan. I have a cunning plan. All right. So I need to take that province, but that won't be difficult. We are going to 
and circle that merry band of Soviets there. And hopefully we're gonna do it fast. Shit, that's a lot of Russians. Come on. If I can capture 50 divisions up here, I will be in business. Let's not neglect that research. And it's time for infantry anti-tank weapons. Kind of sad that the supply, the um, tech tree ends where it does. Come on, keep pushing them. We need a breakthrough, we need to surround and destroy because if we give them time to recover, they will wreck our shit. No, they're moving. Okay, not enough of them are moving. So we're still in business. You know, let's put on some thematic music for this. Damn, I love this song. Come on, move, move, move. Cut through them. Oh, holy damn, that's a lot of Soviet troops. Alright, let's see what we can do about this. All halt. Whoop, can't let them escape. And push. The rest of you are basically on your own. Go, 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 go. Hot damn, I want this to succeed. It's down here, just... It's a shit show. Nothing is happening. Like, we're gonna have to call that offensive to a halt again already. Just dismiss all those. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on, Alpine Armored Core. You can do it. You did it for me with Italy. You can do it again, girl. Damn. Come on. No, 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 no. Keep on keeping on, come on. Think we're gonna get him. No? No, come on. You, pin the division. You, pin the division. If you are not those units. Your new task is to pin the division. Push, god damn you. Wait, we have an airfield? Yes? Uh, but none of it's useful. No. We don't need Germany. Germany will be fine. What we do need is air superiority over Leningrad. So. Wait. Fighters where? There we go. Uh, 
I feel an overwhelming need to just throw it all. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna throw basically everything I physically can at it. Attacking, damn it. There we go. Come on. Uh, let's expand the. Oh, the port's as expanded as it's going to get. So let's expand a second port into it. And we'll. We got our infrastructure set up how we need it. Missiles. I like missiles. But I also like radar. This is a conundrum. Nothing really useful to build, so we'll just go and learn how to get free oil, because we're too goddamn reliant on the US for oil right now. Man, the Soviet Union is posse. Chuck more and more divisions at it until you win. That's how you play this game. And I really wish that I could break through up here. Let's just up that on the priority chain. Oh yeah, that's right, I can research doctrines finally. No? No. There, yes. Come on. Throw me a bone here, hearts of iron. It's anti tank. All right, strategic bombers. Don't care. I, I have difficulty giving a shit about strategic bombers right now. But are they doing their mission? Yes. Good. The worst part about this is that uh, basically nothing I do is going to matter. Because I'm on all adult serve, and if I go to scraping the barrel, you know, my entire economy will fall apart. <clears throat> so we're basically in a situation where mm, everything is bad and nothing is good. <clears throat> And all of our effort is currently focused on trying to fix that. <clears throat> For the love of God, just beat those divisions. It's two infantry divisions. This is ridiculous. There we go, finally. All right. So, I need you to dogpile on them. <clears throat> That's uh, 25 Soviet divisions we're going to trap and kill here. That's a... I mean, it's a drop in the bucket, but because there's 50 of the fuckers right here, but, like, I'll, I'll take it. Um, I'm not picky. You know what? I have a better use. Let's abandon this mad scheme 
We're getting enough oil as it is from the United States. And let's build a land fort. We're just going to crush that pocket and then look for where we can make another one. <clears throat> Wait, what? Why, uh, why did they leave it undefended? I mean, luckily, even if that falls, I don't lose, but shit. Stop invading Bessarabia. Christ. This is just, this is just madness. There. There. Dead. Finally. Alright, all of those are tied up on garrison duty. How are my stockpiles looking? Uh, shitty for artillery. Mediocre for everything else. Great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is push here, or, or maybe we'll get pushed there, who, who knows. And we're going to go ahead and do some planning. From I Iraq? Why do I have... Uh, oh, because that's right, I remember. So another thing that happened during the, uh, the interlude between last episode and this one is the Soviet Union, through one of their national focuses, yeah, this one right here, declared war on Iraq. They haven't gone to war with Iran, but they could. It'd be a dumb idea, but they could do it. I do like factory output. Push, push, push. Alright. Uh, the only useful thing this one can do now is convoy escort along there just to make sure my supply lines stay open and like I said we're gonna be trying to get Finland to join the war with us yep there we go so what I want this group to do is eventually try to take that province And then that province, and then that province, and then that province. And the goal is to thrust all of the all of the Soviet forces in Karelia north, and either force them to retreat through Murmansk or trap and destroy them. And then we're going to we're just going to establish a buffer zone around Finland, Sweden, and Norway, and push south while pushing north down here. Well. As much as we can, anyway. Uh, why are my Axis garrisons not garrisoning up there? I guess there's no unrest up there? Sure. 
Oh, hey, America's doing a thing. Hi, America. What are you, uh... Oh, hey, fuck you. Thought we had this under control. Bug. Alright. Yeah, we're good to go now. And I'm, I'm manualing a lot of this because uh, I've been burned too many times. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, stop. Okay, you guys don't need to be concerned with that. I just need you to be concerned with that. What? So, what? Hold on. Come on. No. With that. Alright, sure, you do you. Whatever. Ah, all my divisions down here are in shambles. America's doing stuff though, that's nice. see. So we'll send two divisions there. We're going to send these like so. Two of them are going to do it a little bit wider. And uh, we're, we're starting to run into some problems with local infrastructure. But we don't control enough of the province yet to fix that. So we're going to build a radar station on Leningrad. Because it seems like a good idea. Keep out flanking. Yeah, we're just going to keep out flanking them wherever we can. Uh, I wish I had more troops I could devote to that front, but, you know, if wishes were fishes. Should probably have checked the time before I started this, so this one might run a little bit long, but, you know, it's all good. that guy while we have the man while we have the uh, political power for him my tanks are really suffering up here I need to find a better place for them relatively soon let's just keep trying to gain ground
Hey, yo, girl, can I get some military access? No? Alright, that's, that's fine. Uh, Yugoslavia wants to give me more divisions. Nah, I don't need them. <clears throat> and these guys I'm going to send north. Uh, let's see, who else was I influencing? Still going after Bulgaria, who has shifted to a republic, but they don't want to join my war. Uh, sure. That's fine, I guess. At least I flipped them, uh, <coughs> so now I don't have to worry about that happening. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's push them. No, uh, supplies are fucking us up again. Uh, uh, I hate that. All right, new plan. We need to reduce that pocket, because if we don't, we can be cut off and destroyed, and getting cut off and destroyed is some unpleasant shit. Have anything for winter? No, of course not. Uh, let's, let's learn how to do paratroopers, actually. We still don't have any strategic bomber production, but we don't need it. We're basically just trying to run them out. Uh, everything that was on that, I now need on there. All right, hold up. Come on. Yep, there we go. Everyone on there. We're just going to bomb the living shit out of them. Really? Again? Thought I banned. I, I'm pretty sure that I banned communism. Like I am reasonably certain that that is a thing that I did that happened. Do I have anything that does division organization regain rate? I don't really give a shit about that anymore. Uh, nope. Huh. Oh, oh damn. Well, there's the offensive that I was afraid of. God damn. No. Come on. Hold. Hold like you fucking mean it. And that is a higher priority than any of this other shit. That's all about to be done anyway. And yeah, now nah, get get on get there.
We're about to suffer a pretty significant defeat, I think. Kind of annoyed by that. all plans because what you're doing is fucking me up. We need to hold that province, that province, that province. We need to hold a lot of provinces. How are we still losing that battle? Shit. Uh, hey Finland, you, um, mil mil military access, please? P please? Damn it. Yeah, we're about to lose our invasion force. Uh, man. Uh, worst comes to worst, we'll- Shh, what the- We lost them. Alright, best thing we can do now is try to hold. Uh, disband all these wings before they get captured. Uh, Alright, two options here. I could just disband them and try to get the manpower back. Or I could try to rescue them, and then if they're still getting wrecked at the last moment, pull them. But I don't know how well this is going to work. Yeah, they're... They're getting there. France and their famous retreats, huh? Well, this just went completely fucking pear-shaped. Uh, how's it going down here? Pear-shaped. Great. Cool. Par for the course. At least it's consistent. Uh, the supply wasn't the issue this time. It was just that, yeah. I mean, I could take... I could try for Mermask next, but... Who am I fighting? Japanese convoy, what the hell? But anyway, uh... Well, I built Russia some new ports. Let's go ahead and uh, cancel that. I don't think I'm going to manage it. I'm just barely hoping I can manage to get some of these guys saved. Come on. Save the retreat. I think they, yep, that's overrun. Damn it. Yeah, no, nah, they're hosed. Save the manpower. Save 
Save the manpower, save the tanks. Ah, why? Why? All right, nope, whatever. Everything up there is bust. We're just building the Soviets free shit now. Damn. More refineries. That's a, that's a damn pain. Well, we got some of them out. Not as many as we wanted to, though. And we're just going to abandon this. Ah, poor Yugoslavian division. Well, we built the Soviets some new forts and a level three. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, this might be sal salvageable, but let's have a look. Well, that just ha this just has not gone well at all. Start another line of artillery. That seems to be what we're in most need of. Let's go ahead and balance our trade deals because, yeah. Yep. Looks like all we're importing is oil now. So only six of those 44 divisions made it out. Uh, a lot of them were, a lot of them were French, but the vast majority were Allied forces. So yeah, yeah, that accounted for a pretty significant chunk of Yugoslavia's manpower. We did some damage, though. We, I don't want to say we gave as good as we got because we got pretty thoroughly wrecked, but uh. Yeah, so we're going to evacuate while we can. And I'm going to go ahead and take this and rebase it to... Is Danzig Polish still? Yeah, it is. Alright, so Danzig... Actually, not Danzig. We'll go to Palmern. Stettin, to be specific. And we're just going to pull out because, yeah, there's no way we're winning that fight now. I'm going to restructure my infantry divisions. Oh shit, except they're where they need to be already. Pretty much. I mean, we could add an anti-tank division, but I don't think it's going to help. The war is basically going to stalemate. Yeah, we have people on search and destroy already, but... Yeah. Are we seriously getting hit with airstrikes on the way out? Fuck you, Soviet Union. I could really use allied help, but I'm not going to get it. They're not they're not going to join the war. Like they're going to develop South a South Africa. Yeah, that's great. Uh They I mean, I might get British help maybe. Uh I really don't know though. The future is in doubt, we'll say.
I'll start converting some of these over to uh, military factories here in a little while. It's bothersome that I can't get a decent stronghold to save my life. Start revitalizing that army, but I think it's, I think it's basically done. Eight. 11, 12. And yeah, we're we're having a time. Actually, instead of that, how about we pull more divisions off of here? It's not like we can support them anyway. them off the front hopefully alleviate our supply situation down there. I could honestly at this point just abandon that front, leave it to the United States. If it gets pushed, whatever. The further they push us back, the closer they get to my supply base. Nukes, never mind, we win. GG. Fucking GG. Oh. Well, start early. Alright, it would be madness to try the same thing twice, so we're not going to. This time, I think we're going to go try and knock Japan out of the war. Oh, holy shit, never mind. The UK got it. Um... I don't know when that happened, but it happened. Like, damn. Okay. Uh, UK trying to take... wait. Oh, nope, they only have 8% anyway. I'm gonna get all of it, basically. Whole war score is mine. Good shit. could take Konigsberg back. That's already in my supply base. And it's worth a try. And it's only got a fifth naval base and they're already getting pushed out of it. Nope, fuck that. So, you. My marine division. And my light tank divisions are all going to pull back like so. I'm going to check on my stockpiles of some other shit that I need and I'm going to beef up these divisions. They've currently got kind of lackluster everything. We're going to go for... wait, what, why, does my, why does a maintenance company not really do anything for me? Huh. Oh well. I mean, it's got to do something, right? Who? Wait, what? Why? Why? Why are you like this? Uh. No, no, I'm not helping. I'm not helping. No, you can't. No. You cannot join my faction because you're going to draw me into a war with the allies and that's stupid. shit's going. 
Christ's sake. Why are you at war with Belgium? No, no way. And why are there all these Manchurian divisions in my... Get out of... Get, shoo. Who are you at war with that you want me to... Get... Get, get in. Get. Cool. Come on, England. It's not hard to finish off Japan. You've got your foothold. Just win. Awful, got it. Let's get some more artillery. Sink this random lone battleship. Yeah. This has just gone weird. How's Poland getting all this territory? That's really strange. I should spend some of my military equipment. Or my uh, army experience, rather. Uh, why are you like this? That's already as good as it's going to get. Uh, let's figure out a better heavy tank variant. Just I don't really care if it's fast. I just need it to be. I just needed to hit hard. It's all I need. And be reliable. Reliability is, would just be fucking lovely right now. Uh, let's go like that. That's. It's kind of slow, but it hits like a truck. Uh, it's got a good amount of speed. I like it. Let's cut down. And let's learn how to make those fucking things. You're fine. Uh, no, fuck, no fucking give. And let's go ahead and start a line. Oh wait, is that the right one? It is not. There we go. And now we're gonna just build military factories. Like a stupid number of military factories. Like more military factories than you will ever need. Uh, Iran is gonna keep losing and losing and losing. They ain't doing shit. The US is just derping around. Yeah. Yeah, this is all. This is all messed up. So. Uh, I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, unfortunately, our invasion of Karelia at, through St. Petersburg failed. Uh, the end result were... Or was, a uh, What? Stop attacking random Middle Eastern... Uh, really? You're gonna make my alliance look like this? This... Um... Uh, oh my god. 
Come on. Well, on that bombshell, I will lose my train of thought and forget what I was going to say, and launch some attacks instead of ending the episode, realize that they're not winning, and frantically click to end them, but they will not end, and uh, yeah. So we lost the fight up there. The Soviet Union has decided that it wants to start wars with Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan. It'll probably go after Turkey at some point here, to be honest. And, um... I'm honestly hoping that they keep doing that kind of shit. And that eventually they wind up provoking the Allies into declaring war on them. Because at that point we should be able to carry the day. Uh, the, the war against the Axis is going to be over pretty soon. Uh, they're right on the edge. I might actually wait and then start the ne next episode off with the peace conference. Uh, get up in my war. Look at that. They're at 99% to defeat. Like all that needs to happen is for those two divisions to move up slightly and take one more victory point from them. But will they do it? Probably not. Well, this is taking too long, so yeah, if you liked what you saw, please uh, like and subscribe, or don't, you know, you do you. You know, leave a comment, or don't, you do you. Whatever makes you happy. And I'll see you next time, or maybe I won't. Whatever makes you happy. Alright, bye-bye.